Hi everyone, Jean Lewison here. So we've all been cooped up at home in this trying time and for me I try to use the time fruitfully by uh, experimenting, loosening up exercises, doing some abstracts and in fact I was really enjoying doing the abstracts and I wanted to show you uh, something I did. I should have videoed this and didn't but I will do a demonstration for you and I just want to warn you in advance that the demonstration I do is completely silent because I thought it was recording and something happened to my microphone and it just conked out on me. So you'll see the demonstration and if I have time I'll do a voiceover but otherwise um, you'll just see the demonstration. Now I like the textures and this. I think the sky is a little too bland so I think this needs cropping. So whenever I do a painting that I'm not 100% happy with I always see if I can crop it first. So I'm going to take some different size mats and just see what we can do here. Now this isn't going to work because, because it puts the horizon slap in the middle of the painting and that's not a good idea and I really don't want to make it all sky because the sky is less interesting than the texture down here. So I'm going to take a smaller mat and let's see how this works. Now I see that's much better. You can see the difference already. I need to come up a little bit because I like to work in thirds. You know a third of the the, the paper being the um, being either the sky or the or the land area so I could do that and I could get quite an interesting painting out of that and I like the colors in the sky now but I like the textures that are going on here so this worked I can crop that uh, same this one is a little less interesting I feel it needs something more I still need to look at it a bit longer I had a look to see what I could do with cropping but um, I don't really like this one that much. I would rather work on it further and get some t more texture in, in this area here. So as I said, I'm going to do a demonstration for you of an abstract landscape. If I have time to do voiceover, I will. But it's pretty self-explanatory anyway. I always list the materials I use with links to where you can purchase them below the video. So if you're interested, that's where you'll find the list of materials. So let's get started. So I'm using a long vertical um, com a long vertical format um, using uh, my fa one of my favorite colors is indigo mixing with some raw sienna for the upper part. Uh, and I'm using my very uh, coarse hardware store brush doing a sort of uh, distant hill adding some raw sienna and mixing some neutral tint with, with uh, burnt sienna to get some an, an interesting brown for the middle to for my darks. I'm going to add some acrylic sepia ink to create some more texture down below and I'm going to add into that some granulation medium. Just want to get a lot of texture going at the base of the painting. Now I feel the upper area needs some texture also so I got a blue watercolor pencil and dipped it in in my bucket and uh, just created some lines. My, with my hog's hair brush, also from the hardware store, I'm going to add some more um, almost neat raw sienna into the, as a second layer into the 
yellow at the top just to create some more texture. I'm liking what's going on right now. I, I like what's happening. I don't always have great success when I'm playing around with abstracts. Well, I'm quite happy with how that turned out. I love the textures here that was, were created down here. If I had it to do over, I probably wouldn't do such a large dark area there. But all in all, I'm fairly happy with that. And I'm happy with this one, putting the, uh, I think this is a nine by seven uh, mat on it get fairly decent painting so I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time